You know that fishing gear is like Pokemon, you have to have them all. So, yes, I bite the bullet and I got the Kingdom Micro Monster. It's one of the reels that is missing from the, my lineup of BFS reels and I can tell you that this one is very very cool, at least the box. Why I got it? Because it was 26 euros. It's one of them stores that just sell choice items like cute sleeving or manufacturer's direct store and I got it like when you have X amount of units, very 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 cheap but doing the things a little bit different, I will unbox it on the table. Sorry for the crappy audio, I had a mishap with my mic. But opening the box, you see in here that all the specs are correct. Uh, are the specific specs of this reel, so no white checkbox where they just put a check mark with pen on which model you have. And when you open, you see that you get a nice neoprene sleeve for your reel and you get some instructions that you will never read, but at least these ones are not generic. If you see in there, you have the reel exactly like the one that you have, and you have both Chinese and English with nice diagrams. Overall Kingdom as a budget brand has a nice premium feel to it. But if we set the box aside and we check the reel, you will find out that I have the fast retrieve version. You see the purple accents? If they were pink, the gear ratio would be 7 1 to 1 and this one it's 8 1 to 1. So pink slower, purple is faster. The accents there are on the dial, on the shafts of the knobs on the carbon fiber handle, on the nut stopper, the drag uh, not the drag, the tension knob for the spool and the spool itself. This and the iStar Aurora Light are the best free spooling reels that I have. The other thing I like about this reel, um, it's the color scheme because it's a bit darker than the Acura and it makes feel, it feel a little bit more premium than the Acura, the finish even though it's an older version of this platform. So I'm very, very happy with the free spooling. And now we can hear the sounds. So this is the drag star sound. Not bad. This is the drag sound. Also not that bad. And the spool tension knob sound. Actually, it's pretty good that you can get everything for I think I paid 26 euros for it so very very snappy the action on the thumb button and if we take the side plate off you can see a point of debate on these reels uh, most people swear that the magnets on this reel are better than the Acura because the braking mechanism I checked, it moves the same way as the Acura, so there's no difference there. And now I'll take some measurements. So side to side, 22 millimeters on the spool, diameter it's 30 millimeters. So not the smallest uh, spool in the market. Uh, um, the Aurora, it's uh, smaller and the shaft, it's 60 millimeter long, longer shaft. It's not that you will have a lot of unsprung weight um, when you're, when the spool is spinning, but it will make some difference. So people still would prefer the Acura Pro because of the shorter shaft. And in here I will just adjust the magnet so you can see the mechanism working. You see there the cogs pushing and pulling the magnets in and out. And Doing the dubbing after uh, testing the reel, I can tell you that these magnets, at least mine, in comparison with the Acura, I feel that I have more control uh, over the uh, braking mechanism. And now I'll just m make some weights in here. I don't know how good the camera will show, but it's 7.1 grams on the scale for this spool 
and uh, announced weight for this pool was 6.9 grams so a bit heavier than announced uh, maybe it's the grease on the bearing i don't know it's 0.2 of a gram of difference maybe it's just the greasing I, i'm not sure and the total weight of this reel should be around 135 grams or 4.7 ounces i will measure it uh, usually it's this one that gets wrong not the spool and this one is also wrong so 138 grams for the whole assembly also the other thing on this reel as all the dark wolf ultra variants you have four kilos of drag or nine pounds with carbon washers and this is considered the best version of the long shaft variant of the dark wolf ultra and in here i'm just messing with everything that is provided on the box and i will give you a little teaser what is coming for this reel i'm getting on my bag over there so i just want to retrieve something and you see this guy will get hybrid bearings in the near future we will hear every time i cast until then i'll see you guys next time